Hi guys and happy Valentine's Day! That being the case, I can think of nothing more appropriate to review than the Safari Limited Love Dragon. Now, this is one of the whimsical dragons that Safari Limited has put out. And as you can see, it's nowhere as dangerous and dramatic as the stereotypical dragons you might think of. And like the Safari Limited Flower Dragon, this is a dragon that looks peaceful and harmless. Indeed, the visage is one of friendliness and openness. The general colour scheme of this dragon is pink and metallic silver. And you can see on the wings how nicely textured the membranes are and how having a metallic paint helps bring that out, as well as create the illusion of more complexity that we've seen on other metallic offerings like the green forest dragon. Now this is especially if we were to view it from different angles, reflecting different amounts of pink at times. The membrane edges have a very nice pink blended in over here. It's very faint and very subtle, but you can make it out. The silver paint is also used on the underside of this dragon, where you can make out more texturing on the throat and down here to the belly plates. And I especially like how the plates get progressively narrower as you head towards the tail. It just gives it a very nice and very interesting variation. Now next, we have the pink and the fuchsia. And here unfortunately, the paintwork is let down a little bit. Now the dorsal aspect is pink, and you can see a nice faded transition down to the fuchsia. But within each colour, however, there's no subtlety, either within the pink or the fuchsia. It's just one flat monotonous wash. And that's unfortunate because you can see that there's really very interesting scale detail, which is differentiated in layers. And in keeping with the love theme, there are plenty of heart-shaped feature scales. Now over here, you see, uh, you see a couple of a double row of small ones. It's really clever how they've layered this to look natural and still give you that double heart. And down here, you have another single row. So these three rows run in parallel down the entire length of the dragon. All the way down here. The thigh also has a feature scales or armor plating shaped in the form of a heart. You see that too on the shoulder. And I like how they've incorporated the love theme into the design of this dragon. Now having done such a great job with the wings and the body, the head, which you'd expect to be a big focal point, is a bit disappointing. Now I don't mean the cartoony look. Now for a whimsical dragon, especially one that speaks to love, I think it's okay to soften the features of this gentle dragon. I just feel a bit more texture and detail could have elevated it more. This is especially so when you contrast that to the body and the wings. Now at this point, let me introduce you to something that does elevate it. A baby love dragon. Now this endearing figure is sold separately. You can see it's the same species with some ontogenetic differences. Color-wise, it's a lot lighter, being primarily a very light pink. The wings are smaller, of course, um, and obviously uh, too small for flight. Although, you can already see the detail in the silvery wing membranes. Look how textured that is, it's so nice. Um, you look at the wing fingers here, looking really delicate and fragile, just like you would see in a baby. 
And I like here how the edges are again fringed with pink, just as we saw on the adult. Other than that, you'll see the baby have the same type of scalation as the adult, with the hard motifs down the neck here, looking very small and cute <laughs> being a baby. And here, not quite so developed yet in the trunk. But then in the tail, uh, that pattern repeats. I just love how they've done the blending of colours on the tail of uh, this baby dragon. Very nice, just little baby hearts. And then likewise on the underside, the silver is again very nice, uh, picking out some of this very nice detail. Look at the cute little toes on the little baby dragon. Then all you have to do is to fit him into the mother like this. And you can see how snugly they fit together. And now you have a scene of safety, tenderness and care. Mother and child nuzzling in a scene of peace and love. And together, they create a special diorama with a very good positive message, suitable for your partner or your child. And why, despite wishing for a bit more detail in the head, I think it's one of Safari's best dragon pieces and I love it. Now, according to the Safari website, the love dragon is a guardian of true love, and a baby love dragon is born each time a couple pledges true love to each other. Now, whichever home a love dragon graces, it will ensure that long-lasting love abounds. If for nothing else, I think that that is a worthy dragon to have at home. Now let me end by saying that as nice as occasions like Valentine's Day are, it would be great if we treated the people we love on ordinary days the same way we do on special occasions. Now of course, that might mean that Valentine's Days, birthdays and anniversaries would no longer feel as special because the loving, attentive ways we behave on those days should be how we act on the other days too. But I think it's a small price to pay. So thanks for watching. Now go spend time with your loved ones or continue watching my videos together. No, I'm kidding, of course. That's the least romantic thing you can do. Happy Valentine's Day, guys.